a year last time. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I saw. I woke up and I was like, "Ooh, yeah." So we're probably still playing. S- sadly, <laughs> you were. <laughs> s- sadly, sadly, yeah. This is this is the second 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 uh, screening here. Okay. So, but when we left off here, I will put you uh, here. We'll do this. He is here. Panda just logged in. God, what is my password again? Should be the first four of your name. No, that's what it was. I thought it was the first three. Is invalid. You got a cap for first, first, first letter. capitalized. Yeah. Invalid password for Steve. Yeah, once it's set, I can't check it. I did read a thing. There's a way to reset them somewhere. So. Mine is my whole first name. Mhm. Try your whole first name, Steve. Yeah, mine's yeah, mine's no, my entire yeah. first name. Yeah, that's the full thing. See that cybersecurity training right there? That is- <laughs> yeah. Good old cybersecurity training. Okay. I right, hear you. Let me do this. There. So you can at least get the gist of where you're at. Okay. So, yeah. <coughs> you guys literally were able to finally get the fire out. Um, I went and I looked. Okay. There were two dead people. Mm-hmm. And of the three fire methods, two are confirmed dead. Mm. Hmm. I thought you killed all three of those. I don't know where the other one went. So it dipped back into the fire right at the end, but... Okay. Yeah, two... Well, I'll word it this way. Two are confirmed. Like, you find bodies. So, two are confirmed dead. Um... So... Get this out of my way here. So Artissa, Artissa comes around the corner, you know, coughing up smoke and all like that with the council with the, the council leaders. Right. And um, after that, she goes into kind of triage mode with burn victims and all, mm-hmm. while the, while everybody else is putting out the fire. Yeah, like I said, there's some some immediate aftermath stuff that happens once everything kind of okay, the fire's out and things like that. And that that probably honestly takes about half an hour or so anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, 
but yeah, she goes around, she makes sure everything's, you know, hunky dory and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to read this for what it says. Uh, it says Greta Gardania looks around, hugging some of the townspeople next to her while others wearily clap her on the back and thanks for their lives. You guys too get recognition. Um, and so does the dwarf that was up front. Uh, I forget his name off the top of my head. Um, but the, the council member that was the dwarf that was barking orders. So what, mem what, what manner of madness just happened? This can be no accident. Did anyone see anything? So one of the guards who was outside before the fire began voices up. I, he says, weary, and he's covered in soot. Uh, he says, uh, the clerks saw everything. It was Calmont, the cad from the bookseller's apprentice. He lit the fires in the hall next to the chamber, then also set the fire monster loose into the crowds. A second guard shouts in assent, indeed, uh, and witnesses outside the building saw him run toward Hell Knight Hill, and they point kind of up towards the northeast. This is a surprise and worried wave ripples through the crowd at this information, including Warball's distinct voice. The Citadel. My, my bumble brashers. This is, that's where they're homed. And so uh, Greta raises her hand authoritatively and the crowd begins to calm down. Friends, we'll get to the bottom of this, so she assures them. But we can do it, uh, but we can't do it alone. Uh, who are the heroes in attendance today? Heroes who are willing to investigate the hill. And that's the, that's the read box. So she's putting it out there. She's like, yes, we definitely need help. And she, she's... What was the guy's name that said that, that the guard said set the fire? Calmont. Calmont? He had made a comment that he works... Uh, as an apprentice at the bookstore. And here... He set the fire or did he summon the methods and set the fire? And they set the fire? Or what did they... They said he set the fire? The way it's worded is he lit the fires in the hall next to the chamber and he released the methods. Okay. So I... He did both. I'm opening the markers for where the bookstore is, so you know that's where he works. It's up here. Mm -hmm. Up here. So. Um, How far away is the hill? Is the Hell Knight Hill? Yeah, is this like saying, multiple days? Well, or? no, I'm saying I'm reading on here. Um, oh, sorry. Because there's, there's other things that have to happen. It's about 10 miles out of town. It's not that okay. far. Um, okay. What time of day is it? It's still early. Remember, you guys, first thing in the yeah, morning, yeah. had your meeting. It's early. Now, for those who don't know, the Hell Knights uh, used to be some adventurers that did town guard work until they just left. The hill they're talking about, they had a small, basically a, a miniature outpost, and that's where they homed themselves before they abandoned it um, and went to greener pastures, basically. So um, you'll hear uh, uh, Warble talk about how the Bumblebrasher clan of goblins basically moved in after they left and that's where they live now supposedly and that's where the red smoke has been coming from that she talked about inside the meeting before the fire started the distress signals um so if, he, if he's running that way to take refuge she's worried that there's already problems there anyway um and so it's it's a it's a stacked problem um but I do have some things that I need to handle. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, oh, 
Okay, yeah. Um, how do I do this? There. So if you'll see, I don't know if it opens up for you. If you double click the save town hall, you get all the subtasks. But you guys were able to basically save the citizens. Two out of 40 is still criteria for having saved the citizens. Uh, you did not douse the flame. You did not save town hall. So it comes down to Greta's last comment basically was she's looking through the crowd for someone who's willing to go look for Kalmont. Um, and with, uh, with Warbles basically begging for assistance too, since you're going to the same place, she's willing to take on that quest as a, uh, how they do through the, through the, the, the taxes through the, through the town, okay. town money. She's willing to pick up this tasking, uh, to the same people who are willing uh, to go investigate and come back and to return Calmont if they find him. Go go try to find him. If they can find him, bring him back. Warble's part of it is just to investigate the Bumble Brashers and find out why they have no longer made com uh, contact. Like, well, like, what's going on and why are the fires lit? So... Those effectively are the options. Yeah, the two. So hang on. There are two next quests. Hang on. Let's see. I have to do this. I hate um, that there's not an easier way to do this. So. It's a pretty cool little quest tracker thing, though. Yeah, it's pretty cool after I looked at it. The only thing is, like, turning quests on and off is kind of a pain in the mm. neck. But, yeah, if you look in here, you can click on each one, and you can see, basically, the criteria for them. And then, if you take them into... Oh, here. Hang on, let me... Do that. I don't know why those are oh, nice. Um, there. So that sets your criteria of what you have to do versus your whatever. And then if you want to do it, what happens is, is you we move it down into in progress. And you see that through the like the play button there. You can put it into progress if you if you want to do that one, and then it'll go down to the in progress tab. And like I said, just the icons kind of take care of themselves uh, over on the side. Very cool. So, like I said. She's asked for help. She's put money out. Um, and on that note, with you guys kind of close already anyway. Yeah, no, not some sort of crazy test. <coughs> um, with you guys already uh, nearby... Uh, she wants to offer you guys um, some healing potions in return for what you've done for your assistance with the town hall. So I'm not sure who this would go to. But realistically, I'm going to say Artisa only because she was the one that Greta is face familiar with. So if this works right, hang on, let me see. Mm. 
Did you open that door? I did not. Hmm. Apparently, the dog's going to go outside. I'm trying to figure out how to award these. Nice. How many chairs can how many chairs can you carry? Yeah, I'm trying to mm. figure, trying to figure this out real quick because the Safe Town Hall one, two health potions have unlocked as reward. I'm trying to figure out how to reward them here. How do you reopen the the quest tracker? It's then? under the journal. It's in the journal tab. There it is. I have to. I can't drag it to your thing, but I can drag it to your character sheet. Okay. Okay. So I have dropped you two minor healing potions. Oh, there it is. Right. Um, that she gives to you for for the help with the fire. Okay. Hold on. Uh, looks like I've got three. Don't know how that happened. Yeah, it was because of the way I was doing it. Okay, there. Okay. Okay. You're fixing it? Yeah. Okay. There. And then, um, Rust, you specifically, mm -hmm. I want you to look up at the top of your character sheet under inventory. Okay. Do you see what changed? Yes, I did. She slides you that. Okay. Specifically you. Sweet. Now um, I have no reason to go to Beach Hill. I'm out of here. Nah. <laughs> like I said, and she, she whispers in your ear. She's, she's like, she's like, I owe you more than that. I owe you my life, but it's what I have right now. Thank you. It was not just me, though. There were definitely, definitely others doing far greater things than I was. Mm -hmm. She's like, I was just doing what I told. <laughs> well, like I said, that was specifically you. Yeah. So. Yeah. Do with what you Archer's will. Here's Swig, and 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 is like you know finally kind of looks up from where she's wrapping a bandage around a wet bandage around somebody's arm that's burned, mm -hmm. and and says, you know, we get. I'll I'll, I'll join you on that trip. Excellent. With you making this bastard of a sword magical, I have no doubt that I'll be able to uh, to do some heroic things. But we'll need Nalora to come with us to uh, do the tracking. Help us find this Calmont person. Okay. Agreed. The more the, the more that can go up with us, the, the safer we're going to be. I'm I'm not exactly very I'm not very good in a, in a fight. I'm good after the fact. Your magic weapon spell is plenty good in the fight. All right, I'm good before the fight. I'm good before the fight, I'm good after the fight. It's during <laughs> the fight that, that I'm not very good. <laughs> I'm a little iffy. <laughs> well, he's got about an hour or so advantage on you, movement-wise. Um, and they will add the piece of advice... That, if I'm not mistaken, let me verify. Calmont's a halfling. Okay. No oh, fun. Easier to track. Well, I'm just um, letting you know. They let know. So, yeah. so when you see him, you'll know. He, he's a little halfling kid. All right. So Artissa will kind of, she'll talk a little bit. Um with Swig and, and um, Namora. Um, and basically um, ask kind of like, all right, so are we doing this? What, what is this? I mean, we need coin. Yeah, here. I need coin. If I, I'm, I need coin if I'm going to get from A to B. Well, here. Um, I'm, I'm adding it yeah. so you can see into the details on the quest thing. Mm -hmm. For bringing Calmont yep. back, yeah, she's willing to gold? put out ten gold to the group. Yeah, okay. 
guy. Um, actually, and as as um as Artissa talks with Stone and Switch, she'll actually pull out those two um potions and hand one to each. The, the, these will serve you guys better than me. This was for what we did. Uh, this was this was what she gave us for the work we did in there. And then Greta will actually pull Warmble over near her. And she says that we will also put up an equal 10 gold for her clan. So 10 gold. Nice. Let's see if I can do this. For each. If I just. That's like 60 gold, I think. Okay. Yeah. No, Swig's smarter than that. Swig is smarter than that. I think you'd be able to figure that out. <laughs> All right. How do yeah. I. How can I give like a minor healing potion to Swig and Nidora? There's What's two, way, there's two ways kid? to do it. You do have the ability to drop from one token to another token. Okay. And like on a map like this where you guys don't have tokens, if you yeah. look under characters and your companions, there is the group loot box where you could share through in and out of that box. Um, ah. But on a normal map, if both of your tokens are there, you can literally drag it onto the token and drop it and it should hand it to them. Uh, April and I have confirmed that it works. Mm-hmm. Nice. All right, so I'm trying to drop the. I'm trying to drop one of these minor healing potions onto the group loot. Yeah, just open the box and drag it from your character sheet to the group loot character sheet. Yep. Got it. All there right. Here's one. So if you two will grab, she'll she'll hand she'll hand one to uh one to Swig and and one to Nylora. These will serve you better than me. Uh, one quantity, one move. I have taken one. Waiting to you. I have one in my inbox, in my inventory now. What do you need? I do not believe. Yeah, so that's that's a good use of nice of the box. And like I said, on, on any other map where both of your tokens are present, you can drop exactly. it onto the other person's token. And it will, as long as they're friendly, it'll hand it to them. Yeah. Um, so Artissa will actually, she'll, she'll kind of step back as we're talking. And then she'll actually kind of say, but, you know, what's to keep the, these warbles from, you know, basically attacking us when they see us? They don't know us from, from anybody. Uh, shouldn't, should we get, shouldn't somebody come with us that knows them? Warbles? I mean, can kind of... Warble's the only contact uh, that okay. they have. Then Warble, then, then Warble, then she should come with us. She is not going to go if there's danger involved. Uh, she will tell you that... The we'll, keep you, we'll keep you. We'll keep her safe. That the per- mm. Dude, she's like in scholar mm. robes, man. She's like, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, you know, what am I? Am, am, am I wearing plate armor? But I'm, I'm just as vulnerable. Yeah. She tells you the person she she talks to and that she contacts norm on a normal basis. Her name is mm-hmm. Elba, Elba, and she will give you a small emblem thing um, as a representation token. She's like, this should be enough to let her know uh, that you are, you know, with with me and with the town. But she ain't going. <laughs> All right. I feel I feel I feel like I'm going to a party unescorted without introduction. Always, mm-hmm. never a good sign. Okay. Um, when do we? When do we? Still early morning. Still a lot of daylight. Like I you said, know, we're still we're a little, yeah. little we're a little burned from the uh, from that. You know. Like I said, he already has an hour push on you, so. Now, Laura, is there any is there any value in going to this bookstore and seeing if there's anything to learn from him there? Of this Calmont, he's summoning fire fire creatures. Is he a spellcaster, or is he is there something to be learned there? Yeah, who is this Calmont? And can we get the can we get the witch to come with us? I want the witch. I'll carry her chairs. <laughs> what now? Carry a big old stack of chairs and just throw them in there and you just fling them around as you go. I would definitely go with y'all. 
Yes. We've got a witch. Yes. All right. Um, give him just a second. Our son needed him for a minute. Mm-hmm. Mom's and been on we... mission all week, so. And how do we get a goblin to come with us? <laughs> I tried. She didn't want to come with we us. We need some explosions. We might need some explosions, I think. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, uh, for Steve, this is where this is where it kind of plays into you because you could be literally just part of this crowd and hear that there is a whole clan of goblins that are having problems. And then mm. there's money on the line. There's 10 gold being paid to whoever takes up this task. Um, and they're talking about, yeah, we need some sort of representation so the goblins don't think we're just some assholes just showing the fuck up. That's right. So, we need an asshole goblin to go with them. Yeah, I didn't know if I was there or not. At this point. No, yeah, you're <sighs> totally somewhere in the crowd. Okay. Is the, there the fire would have drawn fixed? quite a bit of, of from anywhere in town. Huge, black smoke shit. Um, is there one of them that is red, like out of their group that is relatively large? There are a couple who are relatively oh. large. Uh, uh, not a lot six, six foot tall, so plus yeah. plus horns. So yeah, I was gonna say there's a, there's a. Six foot tall plus horns? Yeah, yeah. there's a satyr looking large something. Okay. And then there's uh, a larger human. Human fighter. Eh. I'll climb up like the satyr, slowly feel a tugging on his back <laughs> as I begin to climb up his back and then just kind of like sit on his shoulders. That's the, goblin feet kind of like that's dangling the off the edge. It's a her. Oh, her. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. And even better. Yeah. Yeah. Little goblin dangling feet dangling there. <laughs> I mean, what? I don't. What? I don't personally know them, but uh, I might. I'll. I like money, and I'll help. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> nah, I look comfortable up here. Plus, I'm tiny. I mean, I, I needed to be seen. <laughs> Starts climbing down. Sorry. I okay. <laughs> <laughs> Warble sees you coming up and offering your services. And she comes up and she, she she's kind of like, I don't fully recognize you. Are you a bumble brusher? No, no. Uh, no. And she inquires your clan. That is an amazing question to ask. <laughs> um... I don't necessarily have a clan anymore. She kind of takes note of that. Okay. You're very brave. Eh. Brave, brave's a strong word. No, that uh, the the line between bravery and stupidity is fairly thin. Well, from her standpoint, it's very brave. <laughs> Goblin put his ass out there like that. Very brave. He kind of shakes one of the the many potions he has strapped to the front of him, and he's like, "Yeah, I understand that." <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it you do? Um, I, I mean, I make potions, obviously. Um, some of them. Good. Most of them tend to explode, but but I make potions and and other alchemical uh, uh, concoctions. Could just make sure that, that when they do explode, they're not here. I've had enough smoke and fire for one life. Uh, look, look, when you're making stuff like I do, explosions happen. There's no avoiding that. But fire to like harm and just deal damage to, or, you know, mess with people who don't deserve it is, is wrong. But I can't well, promise. Well, anything. this guy just tried to burn me alive, so he deserves it. You know, no, I agree. I agree. All right. All right, so do we want to go check out 
the bookseller, the book company before we head out, or we want to go straight out? In my experience tracking people, you want to get as much intel as possible. So I suggest go to his place of employment first. Perhaps question his master. Did say he was an apprentice. Yes. Agreed. All right. Okay. No time like the present. All right. Artis will kind of get up, brush off the brush the soot off of her robes. Pick up the you know the healer's kit that was kind of yeah um, as, laying as, down open from where she'd been working. And as, strap it over over her shoulder. As you, as you start to leave, uh, Greta's Wait. like. You know, may the, grab- gods, may the gods that protect you be always in your pocket. So you guys go to the yeah, bookstore? Yeah, we'll go check out the bookstore. We have a goblin now to throw. Yeah, just throw it. Don't throw me. No, you got to You got to speedball it. <laughs> nice. Just explosive vials in both hands as I go flying through the air. Okay. Ooh, we could turn it into a bombing run. <laughs> you are the bomb. Yeah. Okay. Hey, just give me a couple more rings, and after, after we'll, we'll throw you, you'll blow up, and I'll resuscitate you, and we'll do it again. I'm, I'm sensing a plan here. The place is locked. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. There's literally a sign on the door. You think common, right? Saying closed. Oh. Until further notice. Mm, uh, good. Because hmm. this this, this uh, strikes me as, as your domain. The 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 door. Yes. It, it it's not locked, correct? It is. No, it it's not locked, correct? <laughs> it, it's open. All right, hang on. <laughs> or, or or should I should I say? Uh, Stone's going to make sure that it's open. How about, uh, minor problem. How about... Oh, never no, no mind. Problem solved. Why is... Why is everybody blind? I'm not blind. I am no longer blind. I can see, but I can't see my token. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, is that what it is? Hang on. On the DM level. Oh, it's the edge of light. Hang on. What is happening? What I'm wondering is how I can see through walls. It's daylight. Windows. There's a window there. There yeah, are the window windows there. in the front. Hang on. I'll no. get yeah. that as soon as I can figure out what's going on with the lighting there should be no reason why you guys because you guys can all see at least the building right yes yeah okay yeah it's super awkward i don't i'll have to figure out what's going on with that yeah apparently it's just fog of war (sighs) maybe something something's wonky because i can see just fine now i walked around the building i just can't see anybody else yeah, because they're behind the building. What the? There we go. Okay. I got, I got my my uh, viewer vision at least working right. It was I was still on the journal tab, so it wasn't fully updating properly. Okay, so. <laughs> The door, can you guys not see the lock? It's right here. No, no, I right, can't see right that. Here, there's a locked door. Oh. <coughs> it's weird. Normally, no control normally, over. normally it shows that token, to you. But... Normally it shows that to you guys. It's weird. Yeah, normally. But yeah, there's, there's windows here and here. Mm. That's why you guys can see inside. You can see that it is, in fact, like a lab, you know, a bookstore set up with bookshelves and things like that. Um, there is a small fireplace which mm-hmm. seems to be lit. 
but the door is locked and it says closed until further notice. Hmm. There's an incessant beeping. I wonder if you're hearing the police. Hmm. Are you here? Yeah. All right. So are you going to get us inside? So the, the window's open. No. So so the window's broken, right? Could be. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I was like that little guy here. Uh, has Dune. Check to see if the window's broken. I think I think there's I think there's probable cause for us to go inside to make sure the master's okay. He's probably dead. I love how you tell the rogue to bust the window. <laughs> to bypass the Wait, lock. he's a rogue? Yeah. Nice. That shit's funny as fuck. Um, it is a thievery skill if you want to try to do the door. If you want to bust the window, you'll bust the window. I think he's trying to fiddle with the lock on the window. Okay, so you got, you're gonna gonna break the window? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, it is thievery to open the window, also, if you wish. Though no. it's either way. And a 20. And what were you checking on, the window or the door? On the window? 20 is enough to unlock the window. I'm going to delete that part of the wall. You can now walk through right here. What you get in the boat? He's warming up his pizzas. Yeah, you guys, you guys, you guys can walk through right there right now. I've removed the the window part of the window. Okay. Yeah, I still can't move my I can't move my token at all, which is fine. Um, how about now? Nope. Am I? Hold on. I may not be clicked on the right thing. I can see the door. I was gonna say you just did move. I did move. Yeah, you keep shifting your token. Okay, it's not. Sh Let me reload. It wasn't showing up on my screen. Okay. So, okay. Hey guys, there's another door. All right. You guys get inside. Let me find. You're inside the shop. You find that there are three primary areas: the public book display, merchandise area, and a room with a sign that says "staff only." Only door. Hmm. Is it locked? I'm going to try it. Is it locked? Mm. <laughs> Closed and unlocked. Where is Goblumbo's token? I'm down by the door. He's right here. I don't see him. Because yeah. uh, bookshelves block your way. Oh, there he is. Okay. You're behind You're bookshelves. I did. Who was the side of him? Uh, it's unlocked. I'm just going to, like, turn the handle and push it open. Okay. Guys, I'm going through this door. I'm following. Yeah, fun storm in the castle. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay. Stop. Stopping. Just stop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to use that often, but stop. <laughs> um, read this real careful. 
Is that helpful? Do you want me to swap it over to here? That would be helpful. Let's do that. There you go. Okay. When the door opens. Oh, shit. That happens. No. Spikes shoot from the wall. Up, no. up, forward, and out of the wall into right in front of where the door would be if you had opened it, and they intersect like this and spike through him. Oh. He drops. Well, as it soon, was a as good soon as run. he opens the door, spikes just. Yep. <laughs> We need another goblin. Drop your gobby to the floor instantly. <laughs> All right, guys, Definitely need another goblin. <laughs> yep, that and, then, was... and you watch as they come out and spike him. They pull back and go back into the wall. All right. I just will immediately start moving forward to him to, uh, to try and get his wound, you know, bind his wounds. Okay. She'll go just to the Hold outside. Oh. Uh, there might be a trap. Maybe. Well, he saw. He saw. She saw where he went. It reset. Right, but she's yet. also not going to where the spikes were. The spikes got him where he was. It's just due diligence. How Get much? Back. Pull him. Pull him. Pull him. Pull, pull him back. Pull. Pull him. Pull him away. Okay. And then I will attempt to uh, to use medicine and bind him. Yep. Do what you're going to do. Yep. Hold on. I find where in the world my... There we go. He's uh, pretty jacked. Jeez. They can do all sorts of stuff, huh? Hold on one second. There we go. Two wounds. What critical success. Look at that shit. Is this already double? Back to fault. <laughs> yeah, 48 is doubled. 48 would be doubled. Okay. So, that means I just have to heal him. At least select one token. I did. There it goes. And he would now be immune to battle battle medicine uh, for twenty four hours. Yep, and hang or on until until you get a rest. There's the battle medicine cooldown. Okay. Okay. And I think um, I think um, Swig should also have that. He's had battle medicine. Yeah, yeah I got it during the fire. Okay. There. Awesome. What in the hell just happened? <laughs> Next time, let the thief go first. Yeah. <coughs> I'll remember that. Thief's such a raw word. <laughs> Door's still open. Maybe it's because you're not staff. <laughs> yeah, you know. That would have been a... Uh, Should have paid attention to that sign. Oh, the door is open. All right. Jump through. Glumbo, if you stand up, you can turn off your prone. Nothing's stopping yeah. you, stopping you from, from getting up if you wish. Yeah, sure. How, leave, uh, how do I do leave that? Your, all right, when you target your token, if you look up in the upper right near the chat, you'll see a bunch of uh, conditions. Yeah. Ones that look like blue yeah. stairs is your prone. If you right-click it, it'll go away. Leave the wounded. 
that is needed until that yep. gets cured and leave the battle medicine because that will be needed until 24 hours has passed. But Sounds good. Yeah, that's that's where all your, your character statuses will show up up there and you can control them and look at them and stuff from up there. Perfect. Yeah. I'll just kind of, you know, take the Lumbo over to that couch that's just north and basically, like, maybe you should just rest for a few, sit down for a few minutes. Right. Sounds like a plan. I mean, so you know, I, I know it's wounded and that's what? Like it has an echo of negative stuff from D and D, but for Pathfinder, there's nothing negative that comes attached to wounded, other than next time. If you go back down, next yeah. time if you fall to a dying status, you'll automatically be dying two instead of dying one, and when you reach dying four, you die die. Yeah, but so, so you're one you, step closer yeah. to being yeah. dead dead. Yeah. However. If he, I think he's up. He, back, I restored him back up to full, right? Right. So if he rests for ten yeah. minutes, if you just sit there for ten minutes, then you you'll lose fine. that wounded status. Correct. As long as he takes no damage in that ten minutes. Mm, yeah, as long as he kind of rests. All right. All right. We're we're burning daylight out there, and his his lead is stretching on us every minute we're in here. Either we need to. Check out that room. Find another way to get into that room, or we need to abandon this shop. Okay, we're okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I check the door. Yeah, I'll check the door. Check around. Apparently on my phone, so I'm, I'm trying to. <laughs> so I just would be over here tending to gobble on both, making sure that band is still tight. I'm just pretty, also pretty impressed with herself. Okay, you can, see, you can see into the room, into the to, to the room here. You can tell it's pretty shuffled around, things like that. Okay, so he he, he uh, triggered a trap. Is can I find a way to? Find out if that trap is disarmed or. You can use your thievery skill, yes. Okay. I don't remember if I did or not. I think I did this morning. Okay. You find it, you see it's literally built into the door itself. As long as the door stays open, it won't re trigger. Okay. I'll let everyone. Yeah, it's the... keep the door open. Do so, not move. But you do know that if the door closes and reopens, it will re-trigger. But like I said, when when Glumbo had opened the door, it triggered and he fell right away, so the door had is still open. So that's where you're at right now with the door still open. Is there anything I can do to latch the door? To hold it open? Yes. Um, yeah, probably. Okay, I'll take uh, some time to prop the door open. Yeah. By using the chair. Okay. Spike, 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 spike. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, 
As you look inside, you, find- you see the you see the place is pretty pretty disheveled. It's been shuffled around. There's stuff kind of just set out random. It doesn't look like anything was actually worked on in here. Um, very cluttered desk. You can make me a perception check if you want. Um, what is he giving to me? Close to my body. The character. So uh, that one's under a different. It's under attributes. Yeah, perception. Perception. Yeah, it's over where your initiative is for whatever reason. It's not on the skill list. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I said, it's a very scrambled looking room. All right, I'm going to take a step forward. What is that? Okay. I see a bathroom. And can you see Oops, the other door? You can see the other door. Okay. Yes. See, now, now here I can see this one way over here. I couldn't see that one before. It's weird. All right, I'll uh, check for any booby traps in this one. Okay, thievery check. Okay, it doesn't seem to be trapped. Okay, here goes nothing. Do I hear anything on the other side? Or is it still no, quiet? No, but it is locked. Okay. All right. Time for me to try to open this. All right, um, for Stone and Swig, as you guys come in the room, uh, give me you guys a perception check also. Pete where are you? Turn sheet to the left under, like, your AC and all like that. Yeah, if you go on your right character here. sheet, it's in the left column, just under yeah your AC. Perception guy, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah next time uh, don't even don't even. Don't even. Uh, it's pretty. That? It's, it's, like, okay. it's pretty. Meanwhile, oh, some bounty hunter I am. <laughs> actually, Swig of all people see some stuff laying on the table there, that kind of catches your eye. Um, you see in some handwritten notes that's like tucked into a, like a, like a diary type book, you see a loose paper that literally says the entrance to Alceta's ring is a guardian's way. Um, we may have finally found it. That's what the little note says. Um, Make a society roll. Society roll. Yes. Society roll. This is going to go well. Okay. Hey, perfectly. That's what you read. Yeah, that's what I would expect from... Oh, you're untrained too? Awesome. Did you guys yeah, find anything useful? I'm not trained in anything. Maybe share it with people? Mm-hmm. You know, Kaz and Stoller, the motherfucker. Nah, just burn it. 
I'll keep messing with that door. You gonna try again? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm gonna fidge in the ring too, so she can look right at me. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Did you uh, get a perception check? Hey, yeah. Dom, you feeling better? Yeah, she gets a perception check. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna uh, come over. And with that go. roll, she she sees a, she sees a similar note. And she's allowed a lord uh, society check. Nice. Oh, look at that. See, she knows how that shit's done. Mm-hmm. She's well versed, the witch. <laughs> she looks at that. She's like, she's like, hey. Hang on, let me read that. Guardian's Way is an old military outpost from the Goblin Blood Wars. It's near here, just a few miles outside of town. Is that anything like the keep the the wherever the goblins were holed up? It's in a different direction. Uh, interesting. Because uh, uh, Hell Knight Keep is to the northeast, and Guardian's Way would be to the northwest. What was the other name? Well, never mind. I'm, I, I'm not reading it. So. But yeah, like I said, that kind of stands out within the paperwork because it's not like any of the other things laid out. This is like specific. Right. If, if Gob's getting nothing back, Artisal actually... Come see. What'd you guys find? We gotta. We gotta need to get moving. Well, well, Found the papers, and he was working on a door and asking questions about something. But <laughs> what to read stuff? That's helpful. Okay, can I try the door again? Sure. Okay. Oh. The doors, the doors, the doors. Yeah, you probably just triggered the damn trap. <laughs> At least it's not me this time. That's really all that matters. I don't know that I can take that again. <laughs> On that okay. one, you're allowed to quit. Let's let's do something different. Uh, now Laura's gonna stand in front of the door and and kick it in. All right, go ahead. All right. Give... We'll see how this works in in Pathfinder. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's give me a strength. Uh, let's see. Teacher. What is the hardness? The hardness. Yeah. So hard. And here is I have the yeah. Oh, God. Oh, there's my bird. Where are my stats? There they are. Just straight. straight well, straight. effectively, yeah, you're going to attack it. Okay. Um, I don't really know you, but I have faith in you. So it's <laughs> this one. Awesome. Okay. okay. It's like knocking on a door. Well, hang on. No, that's to hit. Hang on. Yeah, it's like knocking on the door. <clears throat> I just will go look over here to see if there's anything laying about under this, this oh, desk yeah. or anything. I put, my okay. foot, I put my foot too low, obviously, <laughs> and not at the, <laughs> the doorknob. The doorknob, <laughs> Uh, 
Mm. Much better. Who's ever on the other side is crapping their pants right now. <laughs> I'm concerned that we still haven't found the basically the proprietor, the owner. If he was the apprentice, where's the hell I mean, is, is his master? I mean, it's possible his master's in on all this, and he just left town early. Yeah. That's also true. Okay. That's also very true. true. Rust for you. Yes. Uh, <coughs> it says here you find a ledger. Uh, there are names of locals, boring book sound names that have been bought and sold, like their receipt list, their, their led, actual sales ledger, uh, with prices, transactions. Um, and then the last one listed, um, it says it's a couple days ago, was the last thing on the list. It notes the purchase of a magical parchment used to summon fire methods and a note next to the entry dated the day before it, it had been yesterday, uh, indicating that the parchment is now missing. Uh, uh, discovered through inventory. And that's, okay. tra that's tracked in the ledger here. At the desk. Okay. Okay. Archers will kind of come to the entrance of this and say, guys, I think I found where he, where, what he used to summon those methods. Evidently there's a, there's a note on the, or there's an inventory of a, of a missing scroll, uh, that he used to summon, must have used to summon those methods. Um, it was dated a couple of days ago. I don't think there's been any activity, um, for what was it? How, how long? Two days? It was two or three days ago when it was checked in, and then it yeah. showed up missing yesterday. It uh, showed up missing yesterday, so the master might have marked it as missing yesterday, which might have been what forced him to act. He might have been discovered, um, and so he, whatever plan, whatever plan he had, he probably had to put into place when the owner of this establishment discovered um, that he had stolen from him. So. Still doesn't answer where this guy is, but may give us some answers. No. And it still raises the question of where, you know, the master is. Yeah, but if the master's marking something like that is stolen, I would imagine he's not in on it, so to speak. If he's marking down that his assistant stole um, a sc that scroll. So I actually, yeah, I don't think he's in on it. No, that makes that makes quite a bit of sense. But I'll give you that. May I try the door again? Sure. I think it also tells us that maybe this uh, Calmont guy is not a wizard that's summoning his own methods it's with his own ability. It's a sturdy door. Against an unarmed attack? Yeah, it's a sturdy door. Well... Okay, I will take my uh, mace against it then. Okay. While he's doing that, Artis is also going to kind of search the hearth. Search the hearth area. He's leaving. Yeah, can I search the books while they're doing that and just sure. see if there's any like crazy but or behind the desk area how about that okay uh that's what just a perception check yeah all right okay yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's, <coughs> like I said, there are a, a, uh, here at the desk, there's basically just a ledger of the sales transactions 
and then there's a small like cash box and stuff like that which is empty oh. which is empty but it's where they run in front of the store mm, okay mm. so Am I making a dent in it at least? You're scratching it up some, yeah. Oh my god. These doors have hardnesses of 11. So they have effective damage reduction of 11. Okay, so... There's literally, unless I roll max damage or get a crit... There's, I'm not going to do anything. To You'd the almost have to crit, yeah. So, forget it. Without, Just, him, without him picking it. Yeah, forget it. Yeah, if he can't pick the lock, then we're wasting our time well, here. Well, he starts... He, you've picked it to the point you rolled a one. You've hit it a couple times with a fucking mace. It's a solid door. It's not trapped. It's a solid door. Yeah, give it a pick, guys. You can do it. Like I said, he's already rolled three times. His last and he rolled a one. one. And he rolled a one. Got it. So. All right. You want me to try with this thing? Pull out my bastard sword. Give a whack or two at it. You do just, that. You, you just want the champion point. to smash it with a mace. Yeah. Yeah, the bastard sword does more damage, though. Hmm. Yeah, with a two-handed strike. Let's just give it a try and see. Okay, do your damage. <laughs> see, right there. Okay. Oop. Okay, that will do damage to the door. Ah. Let's try it again. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck this damage. door. Yeah, you're at the point right now where you have the, the, the fucking here's Johnny thing. <laughs> like, you can kind of see him through the hole. This is Sparta. Mm -hmm. Here's Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Almost there. Door. It's a door. That did not do anything. Father. Give me that magic weapon ability. Yeah, see, there's the other thing. What's yeah, the... you're going to need to wait till tomorrow for that. That should do something. A little bit one damage each time. You're close. You're able to get like an arm yep. right now. Ah, oh, no. yeah, twelve. All right. There we go. There you, go. Like. you bust it open Get enough you can walk through it. Okay. But it took you gonna... one. A lot of swings. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Took you eight attacks. So you were there a hot fucking minute. I yeah. was going to offer to strap a vial of explosives to it and see if that did anything, but yeah. But you're uh, supposed to be sitting. Well, but I'm you're saying, supposed to be sitting on that chair. But overall, uh, you guys need to think about this. Overall, took a minute or two. Made a fuck ton That's of noise. True. And you guys yeah, are here right. illegally. Ooh. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Oh my. Okay. This is a personal quarters. 
Um, <coughs> once you're able to get inside, uh, untidy living space that reflects the rush to grab a few supplies and leave town. The bed is unmade. Mm -hmm. A modest chest of drawers has been ransacked. The wardrobe is missing half of its contents, which if you notice when you look into the room, it is a, the leftover clothes are feminine. Hmm. Um, small desk in the corner is covered with mis miscellaneous personal effects. Um, sets as, says archivist gloves, dented reading glasses, uh, large ball of lint <laughs> so there's a, a large ball of lint yep there's like a big wadded fucking dust bunny sitting there um hmm. but yeah the the archivist gloves you know those white gloves that they that they use for handling sacred use for handling books right for 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 touching things that are are sensitive there's a set of those gloves a bent pair of, of you know, uh, reading mag glasses. Mm. So it looks like he took off in a hurry. Um, and then there's a, a book on the bed opened to a section that is literally breachal, the outpost of Liberty, um, and some loose papers. Um, and basically it's the history of Breachel. So it would depend on if you wanted to read that through that or not. Yeah, I think so. I think they said Talmud was a half-life. He is. I'm sorry. Oh. And so the clothing this here is, is human, cl human sized clothing. This stuff is yes. Medium sized creature. Okay. Female. Medium. Okay. And okay. Calmont is a male halfling. Ah, that's right, male halfling. Can I, looking at the hearth, can I tell the last time there was a fire in this hearth, and is there was there anything that Calmont might have tried to burn? Okay, it is currently lit. Oh, the fire is lit. Yeah, it's currently lit. Okay. But as you get near it, and you start to inspect it, you realize that technically it's not giving off any heat, just light. Ooh. Okay. So it is a false fire. False fire with a secret door that leads to the room beyond that we could have used to, without breaking through the door. <laughs> no. Do you stick your hand in it? <laughs> I mean, I'll kind of wave my hand kind of in it and through it, like, you know, no heat or something like that. Okay. I, I'm assuming I've seen these before. Yeah. But yeah, I would, I would do that. I would, I mean, probably, um, oh, cool. Illusion, you know. Let me, yeah, I was going to say, let me see your... Proficiencies. I mean, do you suspect it's an illusion? No, I have no reason to suspect it's an illusion, but it could just be a light source that's set to go to look like a fire. Mm. Um, I mean, you're untrained oh. in Arcana, but you have a plus one. Roll your Arcana. I know. Good job. Oh, mm, not. Yeah. It's like I said, it's a non heat giving light source. That does flicker like fire. Cool. All right, guys. Are we are we spinning our wheels here? Better we, we're yeah. probably better off getting the hell out of here. Yeah, at this point, probably. And make our way towards wherever we went. I mean, it sounds like we've got two leads. One to go towards the the keep with the brumble brush, and the other is this other place. But um. If Calmont was seen fleeing towards the bumble the bumble bushes, I, I'd say that's the way we need to go. Yeah, yeah. probably makes more sense. That does. Hey, near the fireplace, are there any fire instruments or like you know pokers or anything else like that? I'm looking to pick up a crowbar or something I could use as a crowbar. Um, Probably just to give it that look. There's probably yeah. the, the tri tool. Uh... Yeah, I'll grab something that I could use as a crowbar. All right, if you open the compendium browser, mm -hmm. there's literally a crowbar in there. Technically, right. you could grab that as an item. Sure. 
Uh, do a take, not a buy. Okay. Let's go, guys. Yeah, so you get like a like a fire poker stick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. You know what's jacked up is that map is not in the uh, in their stuff. The thing you're supposed to talk through this. <laughs> mm, fair enough. All right. Oh, from the inside, you could unlock it if you want. No, nah, I don't trust doors in this bitch anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I got to figure out how to do this here. Hang on. Hang on just a second. Last time I opened a door in this building, it killed me. <laughs> All right, I'm probably going to have to do it one at a time. I haven't figured out how to do this in mass. It won't let me. So, um... Stop moving. How about that? The experience for the room. Since this is non-combat XP, I have to do it a little different. And I haven't figured out a clean way of just giving you guys XP without going into your character sheet and manually adding it. So until I figure that out. There's a macro that's supposedly for it, but when I use the macro, it gets mad, and I don't know why it gets mad. Because it's like, you need to pick every every player, but I do, and then it still gets mad. Okay, you guys were all, all added a total of, when you math it out, Uh, I did that wrong. Hold up. I found myself level 20. It. I'll get this figured out here. Hopefully, not before too long. There. It should be right. So, yeah, you guys earned 160 experience each for this area. Okay. For what you, the things you did find. Okay. All right. On to out of town, heading northeast, right? So you're going to Hell Knight Hill, or are you going to? He was last seen going towards Hell Knight Hill. I think that's the direction we should go. Okay. Yes, actually, on the note of equipment, 
you guys fired arrows, etc. Whatever. Yeah, if you want to top off before you leave town, you are still in town. Now would be a good time to do that. Um, on that, like I said, yeah, if you open up the uh, con compendium browser and type in what you think you're shopping for and shop for it on the shop list, um, you can buy it there. Especially, I think one of you guys used arrows. I want to say I used Sean. a lot of arrows. Yeah. <clears throat> so you may want to restock yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Do the spell slots recharge like they did with in D and D today or do for what, rest? Do what recharge? Spell no. slots. Spell spell slots do yes, and so do focus. And there's another one. The the answers are yes. Now, yeah, folk. now your healing is different. You will not necessarily always heal to your max. Um, I believe you heal your level plus your con bonus or something weird like that. Uh, overnight per long rest. Um, it's not necessarily a full heal, so that is to be. Uh, you'll see that when you do your character sheet. Um, up by your hit points in the upper left, there's a little bed. When you hit it, that's when you'll long rest. And I've tested it. It will do what it's supposed to do. Um, things that will count down will count down, things like that. Um, you've gone your 10 minutes without getting hurt. So your wounded is cleared. You've stayed at full health. So that happened also. So is anybody going to go shopping before you leave town? I am. I just got to grab arrows on the way out. Are you still leaving town uh, today? I think that's the plan. Yeah, I think no, we need I'm to leave. I think we need to be out of town within the next hour. Okay, I'm just making sure. Okay, because it's no problem for, for her to go get more arrows. I'm just keeping the timeline tracked. What what sort of what sort of equipment do we really need for this adventure right now? You're standard. Ch you're chasing a little halfling kid. Arrows. Definitely so arrows. I'm gonna need some some light stuff. We need arrows. Guns. Lots and lots of guns. Oh. 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 Thank you. Okay, cut. Uh, <laughs> How can we you, get, um, for the uh, record, Pathfinder has guns. Yes, yeah. Pathfinder does have guns. Yes, it does. Yes. Gunslinger was con under consideration. Yes. It does have boomsticks. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Talk. Where do we get our get your, equipment at? Get, get your air on the companion. Get your arrows. Let's get right. it going. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. He, he wasn't here for it. Your best bet that I would suggest... I think I put it in there. Yeah, if you if you look in the macro directory browser mm -hmm. on your player and scroll down a little bit, you'll see toggle compendium browser. I would highly suggest you move that to your taskbar and then you can just hit it and just pop it up. That's where equipment and you can look up spells there and all, all your stuff happens basically inside that. Um, so I've got that actually hotkeyed. So the Candy. Uh, to watch an AFE. So in your, you know where your one to, well, you know where you, no, you, you see where your one to ten bar is. Over okay. on the, over on the left, there's like a little folder. Oh, okay. Click that, it'll pop up. Then click on player so you can open it. Oh shit! Cool. And when you scroll down on that, one of those is toggle compendium browser, and you can drag that down to your bar and use it as a a hotkey to open your companion browser. Companion browser. <laughs> and then at the top, if you go under equipment, you can type in what you think you want to buy. And then you'll see over on the right, there's a hand and coins. If you do the hand, you get it for free. If you do the coins, it'll buy it as per a 
D, I see, okay. Kind of like how, how Rust got a crowbar for free because he pulled it from the fireplace, but Sean right. will I will be back arrows. in just a second. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, I'm going to make sure... Okay. Is anyone local to Breach Hill? Rope? I don't think so. Okay. Say, if someone was local, they could answer uh, Kasdan's question there. About, about if the, the bookmaster was present at the fire or not. Mm. You guys don't know what that person looks like, unless you're basically, unless you're a local. I'm not local enough. Okay. Okay. Sean, do you have your arrows? I do. Okay. And I got my rope. Let me see. Where am I going to put you guys? Okay. So you guys head off to Hell Knight Hill, otherwise yeah. known as the Citadel Alterin. If possible, we should see if we see any tracks, recent tracks or anything else like that that might help, you know, help us know that he did come this way. This actually used to be quite path and technically still is uh, because of the goblin connection. So uh -huh. it would have to be a really good roll. Yeah. I mean, okay. you can do it. You can make your make a. Uh, what is it? Survival? I don't know what your. Yeah, I. Yeah, it's a survival check. Uh, um, actually, being the I... fact that it is a road, um, I will request that you be trained in survival to make this. I am. Yeah, I mean, it shows up in the role. I like that. I I actually have uh, experience tracker. Oh, do you? Yes. What does that do for you? Uh. Tracking is second nature to you. When necessary, you can follow a trail without pause. You can track or speed by taking a negative five penalty to your survival check. If you're a master in survival, you don't take the negative five penalty. If you're legendary, you no longer need to roll a new survival check every hour when tracking. So you still need to roll whenever there are significant changes in the trail. Okay, so what I'm hearing is... If you make the roll, you don't need to move at half speed. Correct. Okay. Well, first, you can't make out a single halfling's tracks. Yeah. Okay. I'll put it that way. With with a thirteen, you can't you can't yeah, make out 13. a single halfling's tracks. Uh -huh. Yeah. So like, basically, his his trail is lost in the road right now. Effectively. Yeah. Um. So, uh, yeah, it's you can get directions to to the hill. Most locals know where this is. They can they can tell you what road. Go up here, go around. You'll bank a left and up on the hill. <coughs> there's a a, a a guard outpost, and they kind of say you can't miss it. Mm -hmm. Um, well, once you get close enough, I mean, it's it's a mini castle. It, it's literally a, a a outpost where guards live. So, well, used to live. I'll, I'll word it that way. Okay. Um, so. You said it was about 10 miles. So that was about, that, like a... it's about 10 miles out of town, which is like, I mean, realistically, that's like half a day's travel. So we'll say like, it's probably three, four hours. Okay, so it's probably getting late in the afternoon, if not early evening, by the time we get up there. It's mid-afternoon at least, yeah. Maybe later. Um, all right. Everybody ready? Are we bet? Yeah, are we better off once we get up there? Let's see what we get by when we get up there. All right. This is the. Main entrance. Now, before before you do anything, so you can get a gist of what <clears throat> excuse me of what you're actually seeing. Okay. 
I'm going to uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to move you up here where you can see this whole area is like a tower looking thing. Okay. The main entrance, of course, here is like a main gate, whatever. And you'll see down here, there's like another tower. There's there's like an outcrop here. There's a tower, a main gate area, and then up here is another tower right here. So it, it's broken to three sections. It looks, it looks like the front goes in, and then there's two wings with towers. Um, and that's what you walk up on. I know it's hard to see with the, the fog of war, but you'll see it better once you get inside. But that's what you're up against uh, as you open doors. What's wrong with you? Oh, well, now you can see all the doors. That's cool. That's a lot of doors. All right, so here's the question. This well, late click, in the day. If you click on any of them, yeah. they go away. All right. So this late in the day, are we better off kind of resting and go at it first thing in the morning? Or are we do we think there's enough light left that we should go on in? Uh, I think at least we should search the surrounding area. Okay. Maybe signs of... Because these bramble, bramble basher goblins are supposed to be friendly, are they not? Yes. And that was Warble's job was to be the liaison to town for them. Yeah. So, and this is supposed to be their home. Mm -hmm. So we need to see if there's any evidence of them like outside before we go knocking on the door. Well, remember Thanks. the, the part of the quest Warble has said that there's been no contact in about a month. Mm hmm. And that and there's there was been smoke coming from it, right? fires for the, for the last couple of days. And there's been what? Distress, <laughs> Distress fires. Um, you can see, hang on, I don't know if you guys can see this through Fog or Yeah, you can. Back on the back side over here, on the back side of the uh, main tower, or whatever you want to call it, the center one, there is red smoke going up into the sky. You, you still see red smoke coming from the center. It looks like from the back somewhere. So this place is putting off smoke signals effectively. Um, yes, what you're pointing at there is a hole in the wall that has been broken away. So the place is not in pristine condition. As I said, it, it was a, it was abandoned quite a while back from the Hell Knights, and goblins took over. So I mean, they're still goblins. It's like I think if we're in okay situation and there's still distress fires going, I think we should go in. Otherwise, uh, you know, I don't know. Well, it's up to you guys how and where you go in. Like I said. Um, Panda's already pointed out, like, up here near the top, there is, yeah, broken wall where there's alternate entrances and things like that. So there's not necessarily a, a need to go in the front door unless you just want to go in the front door. Yeah, I'd say go through the damage. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go through the damage wall, damage section. My only question was, did we need to rest to kind of prepare to go in? But. I don't think we have time, and we haven't used that, that many resources, okay. have we? Okay, that's, mm -hmm. up, that's up to each of you individually to determine that. Yeah. Artisal comment about the fact that several of you have been banned and have bandages that would probably, you know, could deal with a, a, some rest. But other than that, let's just go. Okay. 
that what you see right there is a dead body floating in the water. Oh, shit. Dead body of what? You see like a dead body floating in the water. That's what you see. Is a goblin. Goblin human. Yeah, I'm going to It's face down, but it seems to be human. Okay. Great. Help me fish. Help me, help me pull that thing out of here. Okay. And I will, I will investigate it to see if I can figure out how long it's been dead, what it died of, and all that good job. Okay. As Kasdan gets close enough to it. That's a trap. Surprising. This, the this, oh, this large, like, turtle thing, like, comes up out of the water, and you see the corpse is actually spiked to its back. Oh, cool. It's your turn. <clears throat> My turn. Can you move me closer? I was gonna move up with them, but that I, is I where everybody froze. Oh yeah, you're well, way down shit. there. There's no way you would have been yeah. way down there. I'll put you there. That works. I didn't realize you were yeah still back at the front door. <laughs> yeah, I was making my breakfast. <coughs> no problem. Pathfinder has such cool like creatures. I am probably moving so I can actually yeah, see. Yeah, if you but... look at the... It's got the spiky back. Like I said, there's a human, like, literally spiked onto its back. That is so cool. <laughs> but yeah, it rises up out of the water. When casting gets close enough to go to touch the body, it rises up out of the water. Hmm. It's like it was... Eating from the bottom muck of the of the water area, mm -hmm. and it sees the fresh meat. Yeah, man, man, of course it does. Okay. Um, over there. I'm also not on the initiative tracker. All right. Oh, hold up. That's rectum five. You are now. I'm slower than a turtle. I'm going to yep. cast well, it's Forbidding not a Ward it's on Cast cast Doom. And then I am done. So he should have a plus one to his AC. Um, against, against that creature, he has a plus one to his AC. And saving throws. On Kaz. Kaz. Since he's the one since he's the one over there near him. Near it. Alright, hang on. There we go. Okay. I just had to apply it. So, remember, everything happens through effects. So as long as the effects are in place, most everything else takes care of itself. So, yeah. Give me a second. My game just froze. Last cast, and we had people that were still injured. And, and like, actually down hit points. Oh, barely. Yeah, until you take just enough. Yeah. What do you yeah. mean you're alive by one? <laughs> what do you mean you're dead by one? I can't use magic missile again. I can only use that one. Yeah, this whole thing just froze on me. Oh, I forgot. You've got your guidance. Yeah. And you have all your. It's guidance. Panda, you're up. Hey, give me a second. My whole thing just quit. So he said, "Isn't he got logged out or something like that?" 
Oh, he did. I didn't even notice he had dropped from the player log. Okay. <coughs> and actually, I'm going to put you back one. Oops. It would have come up when you were... <coughs> would it have noticed me if I was in stealth for that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as, as soon as you would have disturbed the water, it would have rose. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh, since I'm already here, I'm going to stab it once I get off the screen. Yep. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, this, this this whole map is a cool map. I like this Don't forget to target your target. All right, it's loading up. Okay. I am currently in engagement mode, right? You're in what? I said I'm currently in engagement range. Yes. That's okay. within five feet, yeah. Alright, and we can still disengage, right? Um, I believe there is... Um, I forget what it's called. Oh! <sighs> Fuck. I was trying to remember how, how this all worked. Because it had to do... Not everybody gets attack of opportunity. But I do want to say that there was a way to back away... Uh, to get away from an attack of opportunity. Does anybody remember? I don't. <laughs> yeah. I'll look it up. Keep going, though. Uh, yeah. Keep. I I can tell you right now. Okay. These things do not have an attack of opportunity, so it won't matter anyway. But yeah, not everybody can do it. You actually have to have it on your character sheet to do it, and only certain people can do it. And actually, if I'm not mistaken, you can't. Champions can. <coughs> we can there's a step. It's a step chain. action. Is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, there's a step action. Oh, that's right. Five foot step. Yeah, the five foot step is back. I forgot. But it's an action. Right. You to go the first five feet instead of doing a full move. Your your move. Right. Right. And I don't know if you guys noticed it. If you look over at, at your uh, your control buttons on the left wall there, you'll see one that looks like an action thing. If you pop it open, there's your tracker. They updated this so it works now, so you can keep track of your own uh, actions, okay. actions, cool. and, and and reactions or whatever. The beans. All right. So if he is considered flat-footed against me on the surprise round, right, or surprise uh, feature that I do have. Okay. Is he flat-footed then? There you go. I marked him as flat-footed, so you can get your bonus. Okay. Let's see. How do I... I just click my sneak attack, correct? Should be able to... Well, is it your sneak attack or your weapon? Hang on. Action. Oh no, now you just make your attack. Okay, cool. It's the Yeah, all sneak attack does is make them flat footed. Okay. So then not 
strength. Well, if, if you read it, you're not getting bonus damage or anything, but flat-footed offers you a better chance to hit. Okay. How do I change my ability from strength to dex? If the weapon is uh, finessed, it'll do it automatically. Okay, so this one's not finesse. The clan dagger. Cool. Hang on. Cool. Where'd you get that thing? Yeah, from my um, character creation. Oh, wow. Oh, um, yeah. Hang on a second. Let me check. Yeah, I, I actually don't think your clan dagger is intended to be a weapon. Mm. Yeah, hang on. Let me. I'm checking a regular dagger. Yeah, a regular dagger is finessed. The clan dagger, yeah, more than likely, is ceremonial. Uh, ceremonial. There's a regular dagger. Do with as you need. Okay, clan dagger is ceremonial. Yeah, we I, all. Don't... I just gave you another regular dagger. Use it instead. All right, I'm gonna have to draw it. Yeah, don't Jeez. don't count that as against yourself, but. Okay. All right, let's see. There we go. There, there it is. Okay, it's all better. Wow. I did good. I did good. I did good. Huh. Alright, um, I'm gonna take a five foot step. Okay, so that's your second action. And I can still move, right? Now you can do a full move. That'll be your third action, yes. Third action. Now end. Was his drawing a dagger at the free action? It's a free action? He had already had his other one okay. drawn, so I okay. let him okay. swap all that out. That okay. shouldn't have happened. How do I end turn? At the bottom of your encounter tracker should say end turn. Uh, well, damn it. Where's my encounter tracker? Did it not pop open when combat Here started? I got it. All right. This wig will run in. Uh, oh, 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 what? Ah. What's here? Uh, 15. We'll move in. That's one. We will target this thing and swing once. I'm not doing it. Single handed. With his shield raised. <laughs> and. Okay. And then, um, his it's other a, action. It's a hit, so hang it on, we gotta apply damage. Oh, sorry. And you didn't. Did it not pick a target when you were? It's got him target a little arrows in there around this thing like I selected it. I thought yeah, that's... I was going to say it should have. Here. There we go. Oh, I didn't that's... hit damage. Sorry. No. I mean, I I did, but it's weird that it didn't pop up as damage for that thing specifically. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So then I raised my shield as my third action. Okay. So... Get in there, stone. Yeah, all that stone is difficult terrain. That's what sucks. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you could you 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 could go this way. Oh, I can see the uh, the negative two. It gives it to the AC. Yeah, that's your raising of the shield. 
Now, the trick is you have to activate it basically every round, but then you have it until it's your turn again. No, I think he's talking about the AC for the monster, the Grave Shell. Yeah. It had an AC of 17, and then it dropped to 15 because of the flat-footedness. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's not flat-footed for you guys. That shouldn't have been. Well, it hasn't gone yet, so it should be flat-footed. Um, I'm not positive. Either, either way, I would have hit it, but still. Yeah. Now, I hit it by three, Panda but... had it that way because of his rogue ability. Specifies okay. That. Yeah. Um, I'll have to check and see if it's... Yeah, if, <laughs> if, if a creature hasn't gone in its thing. Because it's not surprised by you guys. It just hasn't right. gone. Hmm. Nice. Oh, it's just you. Oh. Ah. Damage. Boobink. My god. Uh -oh. Let's see, who do I attack? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. The one who hit me took off, but you. You hit me hard. That's why I raised my shield. Okay. Let me see something real quick. Oh, wow. Okay. <coughs> it's going to do one of these. Okay. Raise your shield higher. <laughs> yeah. I know. Now he takes the shield takes how much of that does the shield take? I wanna say that self applies. Um let me check. If it did nine It did not, it did nine hit points to me. I was at nineteen hit points. The hardness on his shield is Three. So, Three. did you take uh, six? I took nine. I was at 19 hit points, and I went to 10 hit points. Okay, your shield should have... Oh. My AC went up by two. Hang on, you got a block. Hang you got a block, this. right? Hang on. I forgot to mark you as block. Now watch. Oh, nice. Yeah. Block! Oh. If I mark you as block, and then it... Yeah. Because then it will block apply... <laughs> now, note that it sucked up three, but that means your shield just took six points of damage. Damn! But it should still have six hit points. It, but it's broken? It will break it when it reaches half of its hit points. It can only ah, be used gotcha. as a shield. And will, and will require repair. Yep. So, yeah. More shields this way. So actually, hang on. Yep, my AC dropped back to 18. Nice. Yeah, shield hit points is at 6. And if you see where it says BT, yep. that's uh, that's basically the break point or something. you're broken. That's the, at the spot where it breaks. Where it breaks, yeah. So, okay. Yeah, so the H Ooh. is the hardness. That's how much damage reduction is involved. And the BT gotcha. is when it breaks and it can no longer be used as a shield. Nice. All right. Perfect. And All right. if We're your good. shield, if something does actually ever hit you hard enough where it's able to overcome the hardness and break Shatters your shield it. to zero, you can't even mm -hmm. fix it. <laughs> All right. Okay. But I still have uh, one, of, one of these, but it's a second attack, so... 
Nice. <laughs> but you're blocking. So. But with apply. nothing, I don't have a shield we'll, anymore. We'll apply block damage. Now hold up. The critical roll for what is that attack? That attack is slashing, slashing damage. Okay, slashing damage. It's not too bad. You are flat-footed to the end of your turn. No, hold on. He just took 12. Oh, because he blocked last time, he's... What, are you at 1? No, his shield stays I'm at up one. until it's his time again. So it blocks every time. Right, but his shield is... No. Oh, fuck, I did it again. You're, you're at 1. You're at 1. Hang on. I forgot to... No, because my shield got broken. It's shield shield's broken. Shield can't shield work. Oh, so it did it anyway. Hit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm at one hit point now. Well, that shield did its job. Okay, but as you can see, yeah. So, and you were also then... Flat-footed. Flat-footed right. due to the crit. Oof. So. Somebody kill this thing. But the upside is... It's done. Oh, thank goodness. The other side Get effect here, is, though, though. Blow this thing up. It awakens. Oh. Another oh, one fuck. pulls up out of the rubble. When that one attacks, another one pulls up out of the uh. rubble. <laughs> and then joins the fight. Out of the rubble where? Next Back to it. it. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was buried in, like, oh. rock and stuff kind of laying there. So... And its turn is over. Uh, um, yeah. okay. Cool, 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 cool. Whoa, why do you have a bunch of stuff on you? What have you been doing? What is this? Uh. <laughs> Clumsy and encumbered. Oh my god, he has his potions ready. <laughs> Get up here, god Those are flipping heavy. Yeah, I know. You are so um, weak. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, as you throw I'm the so middle cure. We need to so find we I... need to find you a way to carry that shit. <laughs> so can I do like a double movement thing here? Because I can't get close enough now, to actually do here, anything. Now here's here here's what happens, right? You have three <clears throat> actions. Kay. You can either move, 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 attack, 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 attack. You can do whatever. You get three actions worth. You'll notice the color shift in the movement thing will automatically yeah. change color. Like, see where it goes yellow? That means you're in your second action. Then yep. it'll turn and purple. purple. That's your third, third action. Red means you cannot go there without something. So yeah, yeah, I got So you can move okay. as far as a red box will take you. If I'm not mistaken, right-clicking, or is it spacebar, will allow you to do pivot moves. It might be spacebar. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. <coughs> All right. And then... Let's see. Yeah, I ain't throwing nothing. No 50 feet. Uh, so... All right, cool. It just... <gasps> Fuck, I'll be there soon. soon. Oh my. Huh? Oh my, face. Uh oh. I'm fucked. You didn't know there was a second one. <laughs> Blah. Yeah. yeah. We can't see over there, so. Good mm -hmm. luck, my friend. New characters coming up. So you see into the start of your next time. But it's it rushing straight at you, so it tries to catch you onto its back as one of those corpses. So it, it kind of does like a tuck and roll thing. Mm -hmm. Hits hit you with its rear spines. But as a side effect of making that attack, <laughs> that's its only attack. How the hell did that thing miss me? By one. How did it miss? How do you miss me? Hey, uh, don't question it. Just accept it. You roll Great. a five. That's how you miss. <laughs> that's how that works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, it tried to add you to its... Uh, I'm sorry, what? That would've hurt. That would've hurt my cow. Yeah, it would've. Mm-hmm. So don't, 
Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Some southern saying. Okay. Yeah. Once during the dragon, kills an attack roll, no attack or saving throw, and a plus one status bonus would turn a critical failure into a failure, and a failure into a success. You grant the target a plus one status bonus to the check radioactively. Oh, I like that. Look at that stuff. The flat uh, effect went away oh. automatically. <laughs> Uh-huh. That's cool. Thief, what are you... What the... You just click... Sorry, shit, huh? I, I just clicked. I thought it was gonna, like, unroll itself. It just <laughs> fucking splatted. <laughs> He's just stealing stuff off the dead corpses. I can't help it! Well, most things, if you, if you just left-click it once... It'll open the the verbiage if that's what you're after. Oh, okay. If you click the word, it'll it'll open the verbiage. Okay, I must have must have shifted it on there. My laser. All right, that's one action. My turn. Yes, it's your turn. Yeah. I was I was gonna draw my vial on my turn, but I completely forgot about it because I have the ability to freely draw my vials. Yeah. So. Okay, so if I put that on one of the turtle things, oh. I have to <laughs> <still> use. <laughs> uh, yes, you can because that's two actions and that's one. Okay. Mm, that's a focus. Are you guys able, if you hover over an enemy, does it show you how far away it is? No. Okay. No. Okay, because on mine I can see it, but only because the tooltip pops up yeah. and it tells me. I wasn't sure. Okay. That makes sense. All I know is the one, the one right next to me is five feet away. <laughs> there you go. All I need to know. Okay. Work. What does this do? It heals 12 damage. To? Uh, Swig. Swig. Okay, I see. Okay. Um, nice. Can you do it from range? 30 feet. 30 feet. Okay. That's pretty good. And then... I'm not dead yet. There's one action. Eight. Actually, that was two. That's oh, two. is it a two-action one? Okay. It yeah. doesn't say in the thing. It's weird. Some of the spells, you can pop open like this one. Some of them, you can't. Yeah. Okay. So, it needs a will save. Okay. Well, let's roll the save. Trick success. Nice, of course. That's what oh. I'm talking about, baby. So, I'm assuming nothing happens? That's it. Nothing happens. Get this thing off me! Oh, dude. Alright, run down to there. <laughs> like I said, yeah, it does not have yeah. attack of opportunity ability. For the love of God, help me! That's two. And then, um, what do I have? Shingle actions. Single actions. Yeah, I don't have much. I'll just cast this. Then, done. Alright, who are you casting that on? Me. It's personal. Alright, drag the spell effect onto from the spell onto your uh, person. Uh, well, let me... You should be able to do it to yourself. Uh, it would not let me. Like, I'm trying to grab the shield, the icon of shield next to me. No, no, no. Mm. Down in the verbiage. If you open the verbiage, it's a spell effect shield. Oh, it's a, it's up... T if I look up top... There you go. I put it on you. It's on. Oh, you put it on me. 
But I'm saying where where the word shield is at the top. Yeah. Click it. Open the verbiage down below. It says spell effect shield. Drag got those it, words it. onto got your it. token. That's what's got able it. to be on your token. All right. Good to go. Um. And then you get shield immunity. If if I if I block, basically I can use now. I don't get shield immunity yet. Oh, I see. I get I see. I see if I on. if I use it, if I, I use it, then I'm shit. Then it's immune. Then I'm immune. I, I see what's I see what's happening. Because you can't use it for ten more minutes. Yeah. Okay. Right. <coughs> Miss me, bitch. There's one action. Or no, that's two because you moved, right? Yeah, he did. So that's two actions. Correct, yes, that's right. Oh, I'm gonna try again. Pretty low rows. <laughs> okay. Um, Twig will drop his shield. Um, and it, in a similar hey, actually, motion. Hang on, it's the start of your turn. So this should have, yeah, left. Oh, okay. uh, the flat plug. Okay, good. So we're going to drop the shield. Actually, and then you don't I'm have gonna, to. Um, Your shield automatically drops unless you reapply it. You have to waste an action to keep your shield up. So it naturally will drop. Unless you're physically dropping it to do a two-handed. Yeah, I'm physically dropping it so that I can switch over to two-handed okay. grip. And then, so that will change the grip. And then, so that's my first action and then I will straight ah yeah I still should be targeting it you are and you hit it yep it says target grave shell you hit by one damage yep cool. okay um, fall down, go boom. Good job. Get the other one. And the other one ran around the corner this way, so I'll go. Whoops, I'm not targeting anymore. I need to move. 10, 20, 5 foot. That's your third action. That is my third action, and I'm done. Up here, stone. It's 35. So that's, that's one act for me. Yeah, I was going to say, you have a move of 35, yeah. I was yep. like, it didn't change color. <laughs> Because I'm nimble on my hooves. Alright. Let's see what happens. There you go. Okay. Alright, and then... Ah, why? There it is. Okay. It's going to curl up and present its back to you. It's not in its shell, though, is it? 
Mm-hmm. It's not already in its shell because it came at me. This is a reaction that it has, or it's able to but do, it, I should say. I thought it was while withdrawn into its shell. It's still a reaction, though. Yeah, it pulls back into its shell. That's that is its reaction. Okay. Um. Hardness of six. Okay, so. Your damage was seven. So I'm going to have to do this manually. So. He still takes one. And then his shell takes one damage. Yep. But he has burnt his reaction. Yeah, if you break a shell, he can't do that rear spine attack anymore. Okay. Uh, the... Lost the tracker. What tracker? Um, counter tracker. I clicked it off apparently. Oh yeah, you can just click it back on. Yeah. I'll go here. Oh. Um, here. It's two. And then, okay. Now the. If I'm going for one of these strikes, do I just do like under the strikes thing with the vial with the plus four next to it? Okay. When it's your first attack, you do the one. When it's your second attack, you do the middle. When it's the third attack, you would use the the one on the right. Yes. Okay. So even right. though you moved and moved, it is still your first attack. So you still use the one on the left. Okay. Okay. Hiya. Uh, yeah, yeah. You okay? <clears throat> Dope. That did nothing. Does that have splash? It does have splash. It does. Okay. That was my splash in the drink. So, the problem is, is it has splash. Yeah. Everybody took one. Yep. That was in that effect, which apparently was just me. I didn't realize how, how big my explosion radius was. <laughs> Pay attention to that next time. Um, but yeah, that's 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 that. Uh, cool. Hang on. Sorry, guys. What the hell just happened? Okay. Trying to no. read this shit. I, I ended my turn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but my mind scrolled like ten fucking things. <laughs> yes. Well, all you guys need to go in your. Thing. <laughs> I need turn that shit off. <laughs> fucking all the notifications. <laughs> um. Because I'm reading here, yeah, you can only splash your primary target. So he would have been yeah. splashed for one. Yep, okay. All right. Uh, I will be back in just a minute. i got to go start defrosting my bar. Okay. So, my go. See, um, you were the one that hurt him. Get the mighty jaws. Shouldn't be targeting both of you, but okay. Oh, Arteza, I didn't realize I still had her targeted for him. Okay. And then on the third action will be another claw. Um, 
Okay. So, on those... Let's see. This one, you're blocking, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we block, and we'll do damage there. That's still on our Tissa. What the fuck? Oh. It's because I literally hit the wrong one. There we go. The critical. What was the critical damage? You are blocking damage. Um, I should have only gotten hit once. One. That was critical damage, though. Well, I beat your AC by 10. Okay, the first one. That's a damage roll. Oh, because I had targeted our. Two yeah, four. I had a higher AC than her, so. You're right. Okay, hang I on. I should have AC 19. I can turn this one off, hang on. Oh, shit. I keep doing this backwards. Okay, that one, no. Where's the other one? Yeah, that one, yes. Okay, there we go. Now I think I have it sorted. Yeah, 17. With the shield? Yeah, with the shield. Okay. I'd still like my life back. Okay. So your shield is also broken. How was it broken? Because I, I got... because I attacked you like five times. Hang on, I'm, let me figure out how to do. It. Okay, so your shield should still be it. No, how much was the total damage? Was ten? Your shield's thing is five, so yeah, it should be at fifteen. There you go. Your shield's back. Okay. Okay. Like I said, this is what I was talking about. A lot of it just needs to be mm. the timing of shit. Yeah. Karn, can I have my life back, please? <laughs> yeah, I got messed up with the thing. Where were you at? <laughs> Full. Full. Where are you? <laughs> down <Yeah>. there. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I don't have a lot of those. I need all of them. <laughs> okay. And then he's done. Um. Out so I can at least see where he is. This way. That's. You can bring me. Up to there. With one action. With one action. And then I'm going to use that <laughs> one action, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And my spells, the tele throwing thing. Okay. Um, Teleconnect yeah. projectile. Hit him with the car. Yeah, there's a mad amount of rubble and stuff like that. That's not a problem. Yeah. One of the pieces of rock or rubble, whatever. Yep. So it's going to be bludgeoning projectile? Yeah. Uh, first attack. Miss. Uh, there's all three. That takes three? 
No, it takes two, but she I already she had moved. She also moved. I was like, wow. Yeah, the three action thing like is cool, but then you you don't realize how fast you burn them. Um, okay, I'm going to attempt to tumble through or tumble behind. Yeah, it's Artis' turn here. Yep. Is it? Um, I yeah. have the spinning. No, but she has it on my screen. Now, uh, Kazdan, if you look, you have that forbidding ward on you. You don't actually have the no, spinning. No, he does, he does not have it anymore. He should not have it anymore. Oh, it, uh, okay. it only lasts till the end of my turn. It said eight rounds remaining. It lasted for ten rounds. I didn't think so. Alright, I'll check it. But he saved. I'm done. Okay. Now it is his turn. No, now it's Swig's turn. Now Swig has No, spin. it's it's your turn. Okay. Dude. He was laying there. Alright, I'm going to try to tumble behind. <laughs> so I gotta roll an acrobatics check. Against my enemy's reflex DC. Yeah, I'm gonna reapply this because yeah, it says it says ten rounds. No, I did not sustain it, so it does not last. Oh, okay. It's up to That's it's right. up to ten rounds, so long as I sustain it. And sustaining takes one of your actions. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Uh, okay, let's look at tumble through. Okay, it says you need to make an acrobatics check against the enemy's <laughs> reflex save. Man, this isn't a bad guy. He's dead. He has health. Huh? This guy Only him? for you, I think. Yeah, he still has health. Yeah. No, he did. You might want to refresh. Yeah, he died last round. God damn it. Yeah, he did. He did as shit. Because I was like, wait a minute. What are you trying to roll through? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. So I was confused. I was like, why is no one attacking this one? They left me with this one. Oh my god. <laughs> You got this one, George. Yeah, we're gonna go after the other one. You got this, bro. That's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, I would have got it with my other dwarves. How much life did it look like it had? It had uh, about a good quarter left. Quarter, quarter's not a lot. <laughs> not on these things. I thought I was like, I could probably get two good swings before I had to run away. I, I will tell you, a quarter life on these things is enough that one good melee hit will kill it. Okay, I restarted. Don't see my person. Oh, I see him now. Oh, but now he's dead. Okay. That's how they got that fixed. Alright, so let's see. Fun cheesy. Okay. Alright. I gotta run. I gotta go take this guy to the airport. Okay. And it snowed last night, so it's gonna be slow driving. Okay. Stop. My question is how fast do you wanna burn through your pots? Um See, I've got four of the alchemical fires. I would probably say, if needed, I would be willing to use two more here and then try to save two for, like, a worst-case scenario. Okay. On that note, everybody hang on a second. I'll be right back. Okay.
All right, good luck, guys. Sorry I couldn't stay longer, but next session I should be good for like the whole thing. I'm probably right, gonna awesome. be out soon, Sue. All right, take, take it easy. Adios, Thanks, amigo. I will. Mike off. Yeah, I'll be bouncing out soon too, so that I can spend the rest of the day with my my grandma. She turned eighty today. Hi. One day I too hope to be eighty. <laughs> Link established. Mike so off. My, my, my dad turned 79 this year. How long? Established. Mike off. Uh, oh, man. End of the month, he turned 79. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, you're definitely older than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all my grandparents have been gone for a long time. No, we're we're a we're a youngish generation. Youngish. I'm probably the only one that has way like double the the age gap between my generations. So my little ones are gonna be at least thirty years my difference God. for me. Yeah. Well, like our son. Right, he's seven. Little in. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Go ahead and attack. Okay. Go ahead and kill it. I'm kind of yeah, just, you know. Drop a, drop a critical on it and kill it, please. With sneak attack. Yep. What is going on? Why are you not letting me? It's afraid. It knows that you can kill it in one shot. What is going on with the way this thing loaded in? Yeah, one second. I think this thing's breaking. Restarting again. Mic off. It showed up with all the tags. They start saying like, yeah, actor point two attack with point seven something this and all that. What's going on? Wow. Mic off. Do you want to talk in pH finder? Dot two common. Oh, I don't know what the hell's going on. The fuck? Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. I just rest I refreshed it. Of all the people to break the game, you gotta break it. <laughs> I think it might be the uh, the resolution. Mm -hmm. This map does have okay. a ton of shit on it. Yeah, I have a like, uh, like foundry. I need a minimum screen resolution of 1024 pixel by 700. Oh, that. Yeah. Mic off. Yeah. Mic Sheesh. on. Okay, that's what I keep getting. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, it, it gets it gets mad when you're not uh, uh, full screen. Alright, I can finally attack it. There you go, baby. Nice. Alright. For all my damage. Okay. That's it. I'll take that. You not get backstab as a rogue? Probably not talking as well. I don't think uh, yet. Not yet. Uh, I don't know. I was confused too. I thought they had like um something like that, but I have some different stuff. I can pickpocket. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all I got on that. Actually, I'm reading. Read that. You do do extra damage, but only if it's flat-footed. <coughs> it's not flat-footed. Okay. Yeah. So, 
does it have to be flanked then? Flanking would put it at flat footed, yes. So I had to be okay. Mic off. I had to be over here somewhere. Yeah, I think if he didn't have to go through that Mic rubble on. doing half yeah, his movement, been. he could have tumbled through, but the rubble cut his movement down and not be able to get there. Right, I think I'm done there. Ending turn. All right, let's see if I can finish this thing. Two handed swings. Hit. Damage. Leave some for me. You have yourself targeted? No, I should have it targeted. And yourself. Yeah. So pause a second. And you're myself? Gonna, how do I, um, you're going yeah, way too I, fast. You gotta wait until we resolve the first hit. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. But yes, if you look. You had yourself targeted, along with it oh, targeted. Okay. So no, I, I got to take care of that first. Things. All right. It did its shell block for the first yeah. hit. Yeah. All right. Uh, which was thirteen. It has a six. So seven. Okay. So it's going to take seven. It and that should destroy the it shell. It used its reaction, and that was enough to break its shell. So it can't do its its back shell attack anymore. Good. And its um, AC is now 16. And if I'm not mistaken... There we go. Um, there. It has a no back shell effect on it now. Yeah, and it can't do Okay. Anymore. Okay. So then my second attack would have missed. So, hang on. Anyway. Oh, so, sorry. Okay, yeah. Yeah, your second one still attacks. So, because now I need to go into his character sheet and just his AC here. There we go. Okay. Okay. No. And then... No. <laughs> so, this thing is your third attack? Yeah, this will be my third it's attack, exacting but... Exacting strike? Exacting strike. It should kind of be my second attack. Strike cancel. I think. I, unless I have to declare exacting strike during my second attack. I don't know how that... Well, you already missed your second attack. Okay, so do you like like do you declare it before you make the attack and say, "Hey, I'm attacking with exacting strike," and then if you miss, then it doesn't count, sort of thing? Is well, that I, I just this is my first time breaking this this speed out. So, well, what this does, this just makes it yeah, because effectively what it does is you know how you have the the map map one, yeah, the map yeah. two. You would have yeah, to yeah. say this before so that you don't go to the next one. Gotcha. Okay. So by doing it here, that. you okay. would still swing your middle one, not your... You know what I mean? Yeah, I just I just didn't know if I had to, if I just, if I had to click on this button before or after. So we'll swing anyway and we'll see what it does. Well, it doesn't even matter. That was a critical move. And map. you had... A oh. melee. It's your death. That makes no fucking sense. I'm not doing that. Mic off. <laughs> Mic on. He, he hit himself in the head with the sword. You luck out. Nah, I'm not. I'm not. No. That makes no fucking <laughs> sense. If it had been bludgeoning, maybe he's got a big honking bastard sword. Like no. Gave himself a concussion. Yeah, that's not yeah. right now. I know, I'm sorry. Okay. Alright. So I missed that. Alright. Now on good. the upside, on the upside, an attack that rolls a one, I'm not gonna steal your other actions from you. 
That right. works. Well, that's good. Okay, so moving here, he would be flat-footed, correct? Flat-footed is applied. Check. Okay. Make sure he's a... Now, you still have your shield up? Uh, No, I did not re reenact it. What's the thing on your your effect? I don't have any effects. Oh, I'm showing you with an effect still. Your shield. Oh. It's not on the character sheet. It doesn't show, but I see it on One. the token. It's fine. Oh, well, I don't see anything on the token. No, when I look over at the, the viewer's version, it's not there, so it's some glitch on mine. Okay. So. First attack. Oh, wow. Ooh. That hurt. Bad. And it already used its uh, Shell. reaction. So. That's actually, nice. yeah, I should do it. Nice. And the fact that the fact that Swig broke its shell is what t made that turn into a critical. Yep. Otherwise, you only hit by nine. Well, nice. that night flat, it's flat-footed. Yeah, it's those two, both of those. You needed both of those. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Wow. Those things are dead. So I'm going to end the encounter. Oof. Then everybody get your XP assigned. What's the 13? 80 divided by the six of us. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, Very cool. <coughs> so that was that battle. So this is okay? dead. And what it didn't do was flip them to something lootable. But there's nothing to loot. They have no inventory. What unless, about unless you want to take their shell? Well, what about the guy that it had into yeah. it? Hmm? Maybe he has loot. Yeah, his shit is destroyed and rusted and stuff. It's been <laughs> soaking in the water. Oh. Uh -huh. And he doesn't have like a thousand gold on him or anything. You know what? He did. Or a wooden shield. But uh, <laughs> but he doesn't. Yeah, but uh, people spending all the money. While we're while we're still outside, everybody kinda of pull back here for a second. Let's 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 take stock of everything. Um let's just we'll start treating some injuries, but I think we I think we need to take at least, you know, fifteen, twenty minutes kind of kind of recoup here. What does that So oh I can if I spend ten minutes on you, I can I can make a I can make a medicine check and heal you. I can do that once. I can do that once an hour. Can you guys see each other's token tips? Token tips or yeah. like health status like, and all yeah, like that. Yeah, when you hover over the other person, can you guys yeah. see each other's hover? Like how yeah. far they are what they're yeah. Uh, Perception is what their AC is and what their hit points mm -hmm. are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I wanted there to be. Okay. Because I know during combat, I have all all your health bars flipped on, but then outside of combat, it shuts them down to kind of keep it clean. Yeah. But, and you guys yeah. cannot see the other players on Monk's bar, right? If I'm not mistaken. You can only see your own. On Monk's Bar or Monk's Bar? Uh, if you don't have it up. It's a like a fast view thing at the bottom. Well, oh, right, I, no, I've got I've I've got no movements, combat turns, um yeah, free that, movements. That thing. Yeah, that shows yeah, it shows I, it's a quick view that shows everybody's AC perception and health. That's what I'm saying. So that you guys yeah, can all I see, see that. each other? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Sure. All right. Um, we're going to have to call it a night for us. Okay. okay. We'll just call it right here. Yeah. Let's end of combat. 
I didn't have to nice. burn any of Glumbo's extra things <clears throat> against his will or whatever. True. So what oh. we'll do, we'll pull out. We'll go back. To Mic off. Mic on. But we probably want to start next time by healing. As I said, I can, if I spend 10 minutes using treat wounds, then I can I can heal people outside of combat. The battle medicine that I can do once a day is an in combat healing. Unfortunately, it is ten minutes per person until I can pick up a uh, ward medic, and then I, then I can handle multiples. Yeah, makes it faster. I think Swig and Stone are the only two that are really hurt right now. Yeah. So I think if we just. 20 minutes, I can heal both. I can I can get both of you guys probably up to full pretty easily. Everybody else, I think, is down like one or two. Is that How long does it take to repair a shield? I was going to say. It's, it's a downtime activity. You need blacksmith stuff. I mean, it takes, oh, wow. it takes care of it. Okay. So, it's not a, it's not a um, mending cantrip? <laughs> out a, yes, you can use mending on it. Yeah, the problem is in, in Pathfinder... Mending is not a cantrip; it's a first level spell. Yeah, it's an actual <laughs> oh. thing. So yeah. you could you could go do it. Yeah. Hold on. Nothing. Repair. Re hold on. Repair. First of all, I don't have a. Rep we don't have a repair. You have a repair kit. Nope. So if you have a repair kit, you spend ten minutes attempting to fix a damaged item. Got it. More than what we can, more than what we can do right now. Basically. Yeah. Well, we, mainly because we don't have a repair a repair kit. Yep. Well. Yeah. It. Nothing that's feasible right now. Yeah. Who has? You have. Who has skill in crafting? I Galombo do. does. Galombo does. I have crafting. And I have I do craft blacksmithing and. Fine. Okay. Okay. All right. So I mean, uh, yeah, I think our, our usual easy. mo is probably going to be when we when we take you know twenty or thirty minutes for me to heal somebody, then Galumbo and, and Taz can repair can repair shields. Yeah. But we have to have the repair kit. Put you gotta in, have duct put, tape. Put put people back together. Yeah, you gotta you gotta have duct tape. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to go grab some of that. <laughs> Yeah, we need a repair Sweet. kit. We well, and there's the, the, there's the inlaid experience armor required armor. of a party, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're like, oh yeah, we should probably totally do this thing. <laughs> so repair kit. Hold on a second. Hang on. Let me see. Let me see Glumbo a second. Hang on. Yeah, the one problem with the repair kit is it's got a bulk of one. It's a lot of bulk. Hang on. Let me see. Uh, he has alchemist tools and an alchemist lab. He does not have repair kit. A repair kit. Oh Holy God. shit! What the fuck What's is that? this? What's that? He has a potion called Juggernaut Mutagen. Yeah. Your body becomes <laughs> thick and sturdy. You exhibit healthy glow, though you tend to be ponderous and unobservant benefit you gain plus one item bonus to fortitude five temp hit points whenever you're at maximum hit points for at least one minute you regain the temp hit points back the drawback is you lose two to will saves perception checks and initiative rolls at last yeah. minute you you become a juggernaut <laughs> nice. you, become, you become strong and dumb yeah <laughs> that's fucking awesome and that's the lesser yeah, version of the, of the thing. He'll 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 be able to make stronger versions later. That's funny. Okay, turning on everybody's light. And right. we're gonna we're good. Go ahead and call it. All right, night guys. All right. Lessons learned. Yeah, we right. got to pick some things. We got to be able to to get get those shields back repaired after you know when we have a little bit of downtime.